Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back. When in the market for a new well set, it's only natural to look for brand names and I'm guilty of that myself. I actually talked about this DT Swiss well set not too long ago. But the reality is the value is usually not with the brand names, but with the in-house brands like Bontrager from Trek. I have a set of Line Comp 30 wheels over here. Let's check them out. These are aluminum wheels and as the name implies you would expect them to have 30 millimeter ID but the actual specifications of the wheel are right here next to the valve and you can see this is a 27.5 wheel set with 28 millimeter internal dimension. They also have 29er wheels identical to this that are supposed to be 29 millimeter ID. I've had Bontrager wheels in the past and they were all asymmetrical to my surprise these are not so these rims are not asymmetrical which might not be the end of the world after all finish of the rim is beautiful as you see over here and these seem to be stickers so you should be able to remove the branding if you wish to do so wheels are built around these bond trigger branded hubs and you can see boost 110 right here for the front hub they only exist in boost both front and rear wheels are built with 28 spokes these are straight gauge spokes using brass nipples and if you're wondering about the disc interface this is the IS 6 bolt, no Shimano center lock option. Usually you can buy Bond Trigger wheels from any Trek dealer. In my case, this is a 2021 model. Fresh takeoff from a Trek Fuel EX. Believe it or not, Trek already has a new version of these wheels introduced for 2022. However, most of those changes have to do with the rear hub engagement. Rear hub is boost also through axle only. And if you look carefully here, you're going to notice a rapid drive 108T that refers to the points of engagement. Well, this 2021 model, this only has 54 points of engagement, can be upgraded to 108. The new version, the 2022 version, comes with 108 from the get-go. This humongous dork disc, it's a clear giveaway that this is a fresh takeoff and not a well set bought in the store. It was needed for the NX cassette. That Eagle NX uses the standard free hub body. However, these hubs support both the XD driver and the micro spline. This is what I was talking about with the three paws that these hubs come with. You get 54 points of engagement by the additional three paws in installing these positions and you can make this 108. So very easy upgrade. I'm going to put the part number in the description of the video. Also coming with the wheel set is this sealant that's branded Bond Trigger. It's blue like you see it over here. 177 grams. That should be almost enough. And talk about tubeless, obviously these wheels are tubeless from the factory. However, Trek is talking about their proprietary complete tubeless system. That system includes their proprietary rim strip. It looks just like this, kind of plasticky. It provides a perfect fit with this bond trigger valve. It provides a perfect seal with the rim. And if you look carefully here, you're even going to see the dimension of this. I can tell you that I had these wheels or tires inflated without any sealant and they've been like this for like a month. So uh, definitely a good solution from Trek, even though it adds a few grams to the weight of the wheel set. This rim used between 2018, I think, and 2021 is a 25 and a bit millimeter height. I have not seen the 2022 wheels, but apparently they are using a 20 millimeter height rim that's supposed to probably give you a bit more compliance and also the material that the rim is made out of it's the strongest aluminum they have apparently the same aluminum used for the wheels of their downhill team I'm sure you're interested in the weight of these wheels and the rear wheel is 1042 grams that is with the valve and the rim strip so I would say probably like a thousand grams for this 27.5 wheel I expect the 29er to be a bit heavier than that the front again with the rim strip and the valve is at 941 grams so you're talking a bit under 2000 grams for the 27.5 wheel set as i mentioned already i've used bond trigger wheels in the past and they worked very well they are good they are reliable the last 
quite a bit. I know some people complain about the hubs not being sealed that well, but in my experience, they've been no different than uh, other competitors' hubs. So all in all, this is a very good wheel set that I would highly recommend to give it a try if you get it on a trek bike or if you find it used, I wouldn't hesitate to buy it for one of my bikes as long as again the weight is not a problem. Couple the wheels with some excellent tires from Bontrager like this XR4 team issue that I'm going to review next on my channel and you should have a solid wheel set for trail riding if nothing else. So what do you guys think? Have you ever used Bontrager line wheels? Have you used the aluminum or the carbon versions of it? Have you used Bontrager wheels in general? Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you found this useful, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. And until next time, hope to see you folks on the trails. Why not riding on a set of Bontrager hoops? Cheers, guys. Cheers.